Morning. Okay, US unemployment numbers out, or employment and unemployment numbers out on uh, Friday. Not a good number. Uh, only 103,000 jobs created. Market was looking for 150,000. We thought that would create another opportunity to buy, and it has today. I mean, really, you have to see the US. What is the United States? The United States is the most mature economy in the world. Its outlook is this, high GDP growth, high corporate profits, high unemployment. That's it. So we don't really, I know I've been saying for over a year now, we shouldn't put so much emphasis on these numbers because these numbers, these employment numbers, job creation, unemployment numbers, they don't really impact on the outlook for the US economy. Because the outlook for the US economy is about global revenue streams for corporations, and it's about those who have their jobs being more confident about their jobs and spending more, and that's now beyond debate. Uh, it's something we called at Hurston Economics for some time, it's now beyond debate. People who have their jobs are 90% employed, that's what the US economy is about, not the 9 or 10% unemployed. So with the 90% employed starting to spend more, the outlook for the US is still quite strong. So any dip is one to buy. On Friday, the price action in the Dow and the S&P was really a sell-off about uh, the Massachusetts uh, court ruling against a couple of foreclosure processing uh, details or, or legal events. So, you know, they were basically saying your foreclosures were illegal uh, on two homes, and that sent a lot of the banking stocks down, which dragged the overall indices down. So, really, when you take that out of it, the market probably would have he ended higher on those employment numbers. So, when you come bring all this down to the Australian situation, the Asian situation, you know, it, it's, it's unaffected here, really. Um, we're going to see a lot of psychological pessimism carried through into the Australian trading day today. Uh, as a result of the disappointing employment number, uh, as, a, as a result of the Dow closing marginally down, people who want to sell here again today. It's, yes, it's a dip to buy. We said buy on Friday, we said buy on Thursday. Market isn't really looking that ugly, it's looking okay. Gold, oil, oil looks fantastic. You've got to buy oil stocks. I mean, really, market is pricing in for gold miners and oil companies pricing in further price falls in the commodities themselves, but I think those commodity prices are about the rocket to the upside, particularly in oil. I'd be watching oil very closely over the next 24, 72 hours for significant gains. The Australian dollar, screaming buy, an absolute screaming buy today. Might get a few hours sideways consolidation here, but this market is ready to rally quite strongly. The US dollar is looking more and more tired. Sterling had, was strengthening a little against the US dollar on Friday. Euro is a little bit weak. Again, uh, overt, overly concerned about Portugal. Uh, you know, Berlin has come out and rejected the, the media articles in Germany over the weekend that suggested uh, France and Germany wanted to pressure Portugal to ask Europe for a rescue package. That's not the case regardless of the media releases. Uh, so that's been refuted. Portugal debt's probably a fabulous buy here. So yeah, pretty bullish on most markets. ASX market, let's watch this dip in the morning, but I think it could well be over by about 11 a.m., 11.30 a.m. And going into the afternoon, I think we should start to see recovery. Uh, and for the rest of this week, actually a really strong outlook. Have a great day.